Hello guys, good morning. As you can see, this is also a funny thing. I only sold one player for 250 in the season 2. So this is all tell you how small team I have and how many how I'm focused on loaning the players actually. So we need to continue playing with this Villarreal. Uh, where he is, yeah, uh, African shit. Uh, I think we still have maybe one month until uh, Champions League game against uh, Borussia Dortmund, who is still having Haaland, Sancho, Reina and everybody. So my plan is actually now to try to win as much as possible domestic league matches and then later on uh, in Champions League, for Champions League maybe I will have some time to rotate some of the players in domestic league and then also probably I will play with three three in defense. I mean if I have Avia below three central defenders I will play with three at back. Especially in away game. At home I still need to think about it. That is the plan. Uh, he scored, fuck it, I was expecting that he will assist, I mean that he will cross to Arezzo, but he scored somehow. But you can see the statistic, I'm much better, they have zero shots on the target as Villarreal. Villarreal is one of the strongest teams to start in Spain. I mean, why is like that? Because financially they are good. You have, I think, four or five strikers. Strikers are very expensive. So you don't need to buy the strikers with this team. And you can play system with two strikers up front. They have one of the best left-footed central defenders in the game. Who is also Spanish. You have decent all-round midfielders. Decent right back. I mean, really, really strong team. And my opinion, I suggest them. Especially uh, if you want to play, let's say, mid table team, the, they, there can be your choice. Here, will I do one sub? Yes, I will do. I need to give uh, Palaversa some playing time because I will need him in the later matches. Areza is missing chances. Do not give him to cross. So, one shot on the target, they, they score the goal. Come on now. I mean, I, I, I'm deserving to win here. Look this statistic, not even one shot. It's out of goal. Rushiga. Shit! Rushiga means tackle him on uh, Croatia. <laughs> Enormous penalty. Ah. So. Looks like I will, not, I will not, not bring nobody. I don't have money. So we will continue playing like this until end. Until end. I have Eibar home, Celta Valencia in a way. I think I won a lot of matches. Maybe I need to change the tactic. I mean, in the league, I mean, I won a lot. 
I think in the games against uh, Vigo and Valencia, I would play with three and back in a way. I would like to mix. So, a bar at home. If I if I'm correct, I always struggle against a bar. I don't know why. Oh, Silas is back. He can be on the bench. Mayer is still fucked. Will I change anybody? Plenty potential yet. Yellow cards. I mean, this team's like a bar. I just need to fuck on the start. I need to score early goal, and my life will be much easier. Eh? That is the key when you're playing home early goal. Come on, Reza. He done everything except scoring. He didn't score. Yo, I have bad feeling now about this game. If I if I don't score fast, but this is at least fast reaction by my team. Come on, Campbell. I mean, statistic, statistically, I'm playing good, but I'm still uh, offering them some chances. Again, Areza missing. Go for penalty, come on. Yeah, give me penalty, no penalty. I need to demand more. You see, this is this is the reason why I don't like foreign pack. This type of the balls in the space behind my, between my central defender and uh, full back are very dangerous. Luckily, I have Andrada, who is world class goalkeeper. So even I have seven shots on the target, Eibar has four. So I will change the tactic. We will uh, we will play with my. Uh, this approach, I will put uh, where he is. Well, I got two CM on attack. Let me start like this one on defend, like more balanced. If I don't score early, I will put both of them on attack. I will put Palaversa and then two CMs on attack. But we score the goal, so. Also, Arezzo missed a lot, so he will go. I will replace him. Silas will come in. I don't want to see that we are missing the penalties. I mean, better now we have some kind of lead, but... Ten points over Barcelona, twelve over Real Madrid. I mean, opponent is just creating a lot of chances against me. 
this is what I'm not happy at all. So how will I how will I beat Haaland and company if I'm offering opponent a lot? I mean maybe I will play 3-6-1 even, even at home games. We will see in the first match against Borussia how will I perform. But in the meantime, let's me let me do these three games and complete this episode. Then we will see. Maybe after this afternoon. Celta is seventeen on the table. Me. Oh shit! I clicked the wrongly. We played on the. I played uh, as holiday mode. I just wanted the until next match. Luckily, I won. Luckily, I won. Because normally, whenever I do holiday mode, I, I have bad results, so I don't know. So Valencia has Maxi Gomez. So any team who has really good striker, it's, it can be very hard. So I will play with 3 at back in this match. And I will go like this. Meyer. Mar will come from the bench. Shit, I don't have uh, central defenders. Actually, I have this veteran. He's a little bit slow, but I will go. I will start the game like this. I mean, a few days ago I posted the statistic of Thomas Tuchel as Chelsea manager, you can see everything. I think 24 games, 18 clean sheets, just because he plays with three at back. And when I see these amateurs like Pochettino and others who playing only with one striker, I will never hire them. So imagine if the Chelsea having the type of players who fit, uh, I mean in the tactic, they still have, in my opinion, they need at least two central defenders better one. And I would say one, one more striker, more mobile striker, good all round. Because I will play with Werner and... Uh, with Werner and that new striker up front, two of them. I think good combo will be, for example, Haaland, Werner, two strikers up front. Then for attacking midfielder, you can go with, I don't know, Havertz, Mount, whoever. <laughs> and two central midfielders, I would say Kovacic, who is very pacey for midfielder with Kante. These two guys, they can, they can cover everything. And the wing backs, I mean, Chelsea has some choices for the wing backs. And that's it. Here we have comfortable lead. Uh, who will I put to play instead of. Ah, oh, Meyer needs minutes. Perfect. I mean, in the last few matches, he was using uh, this. Uh, a Plisketa as a right wing back just because he's defensively good instead of Maurice James. That's also a choice he can do it. Also Ben Kivel is playing lately more. I mean that team will be fantastic. So you can sell for example, you can sell... Uh, I mean they still have Ziyech who can play attacking midfielder. 
But I think they don't need him. I mean, Havertz also can play as two-man striker up front because he has pace. Giroud you can always use in the teams who defend when you need to as target man in the last 15-20 minutes. Did Areza score? I think no. He didn't score. Where is Silas? I mean, Conte went to Premiership and won the title instantly as Chelsea. And that Chelsea was actually not a good team. Nothing special. And he won it. Mourinho was also having the best results when he was playing with fucking Porto and playing with two strikers up front. From 2-0 two, two comfortable lead, it's 2-2 two, two now. Yoy. Now maybe I will even lose the match. I mean, you see the stats, stats even even game by stats. I was missing second striker in this match. Areza didn't do nothing. And now I have a lot of a lot of cards. So in the next match I will rotate a lot. How long we are recording? I we have the time. Yeah, we will play Borussia game also. 2023, so only three days. Only three days. I will rot rotate few players. But here we drop two points and I need to win now at home. Okay, some things are naturally. Areza will drop, he didn't score a lot. Ahmed Hodzic, I will rest. Even I don't prefer to rest in central defenders. He is injured. Amayer will play also. I cannot rest everybody. Okay, let's go like this. Then in the second half I will replace Tonali. Come on, I need to win here. We have only six points now over Barcelona, so title is not, not secured at all. It's special if I don't win here. I need to win. Yeah. Time is flying. And I think Silas will play a starter in the Champions League. Come on. He's like, uh, he's my talisman, Silas. The problem is the Areza is having higher potential than him, does the thing. But he is causing a lot of problems to poor Levante. Uh, Campbell, Campbell missed the last one, come on, score it, piece of shit. Okay, two goals uh, lead, 
I've replaced Tonali at half time. Maybe this Busquets also he's having cards, so I can put the Danish guy. Palaver sign Christensen I will put into play. My standard combo Silas Campbell. Let's hope I will have this kind of performance now in the next in next game against Borussia Dortmund. -da 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 -da. Four zero. This will be fifth of sight. From all smaller teams in the Spain, my always recommendation is Levante. They have good, uh, a lot of good midfielders, they have one good young Spanish striker. So, from smaller teams pick uh, play with Levante. I mean every year I'm playing with them just because they always fit in my tactics. This guy is not fully rest, but fuck it. I need Aguilar for uh, Champions League. No clean sheet. I think Barcelona is still playing in the Champions League in the knockout phase. So I also expect that they will drop some points. They cannot win all the time. What is with these penalties? Every fucking game there is some review. Every game. Too many goals for my taste. I mean, I understand that uh, the, this my central defenders who are now playing are not so good. This Yovas is no any pace. Sans is average. But now in the next game will be uh, we will see everything. I need to, to put next match or let's hope Haaland will be will be injured and, and will not play. No 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 where is Meyer? Meyer is suspended. They are pushing Areza, but no, I will go with Silas. Silas is my talisman. Huesca. Huh. 
Kalan Sancho. Tete. Tete is from Shakhtar, I think. If I'm correct. They bought Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu is actually pretty decent as a right defensive back. If you want to play, let's say, with four at back. He has pace and good tackling. Let me check if I'm correct. I mean, he doesn't have crossing, but he can be used as uh, inverted wing back. Actually, really good player. So I also highly recommend to buy him, but you see he, how much they pay, 25 million. He is perfect for my 4-4-2 uh, tactic. Even his dribbling is, I think, 12 or 13, but is let's say, needed for inverted wing back. Here, I have Busquets already with the card. And for now, Borussia is the better, better team, but... Fuck, why you didn't pass on the other side? Holland is... Definitely I need to replace him. They are better. Come on now, counter. This is my chance. This is my chance! So this is the power of trade back. Defending and quick transition with two strikers up front. So... This is how we need to play. Do not give him to cross. Actually, I will uh, go like this because he's playing long time for me. Uh, if Silas doesn't score in next 15-20 minutes, I will put a Reza because my wing back options are limited. Midfielder, I already replaced one. And Meyer, Meyer is fucked. If I have Meyer. Then probably my will play here on CM on attack. Uh, so let me put Arezzo. Maybe he can score one goal. Uh, I, I will be happy with 1 0. I just cannot afford to concede a way goal. Come on, sc score the second one. This was a perfect chance. Was it offside? Who is Ben Sebaini? Let me check because crossing 15, tackling 15. Fuck, very good. From Mehe Gladbach, I need to remember this name. It's very rarely. Come on, offside. It's very rarely to, to see 15 tackling and 15 crossing. So I recommend also this player. Not very pacey. But he can be good, very, very good. Uh, will I do one more sub for leeching that time? Actually, I will do it, but in, in the last... No. Uh, so I'll put Palaversa instead of... This one. Just to leech the time. Come on, second one. Uh, come on. Come on, pass on the... He, uh, he didn't manage to drift him. Come on, cross. At least we won with a clean sheet. You can see statistics. Statistic was actually even. They, they, uh, Borussia was better in the first half, and I was better in the second. Uh, uh, 
I don't know who are you, but I'm not discussing nothing. Let's uh, let's do one more game. Fine. Just the speed up. We have Espanol away. Dardes is also a good player if he. Let's hope Espanol sold him. I mean, I would like also. I can also recommend you to play Espanol if you like challenge to win two titles in a row. With Espanol, I think you can maybe win two seasons in a row the title. And you can fuck the Barcelona. I mean, I like to play Spain because my tactics is always going very good in the Spain, actually. We are playing our way. We like continue with 3 5 2. Silas didn't score, so I will put Arezzo. This guy will play on the right. Uh, Meyer will play here. These two guys will continue, continue. And actually, this guy will drop on the bench also. And then, uh, during the match, I will replace both of my central midfielders. And one of the one of the strikers if needed, or wing backs. Busquets is again having the card. But, but uh, will I change the system? Actually, I will, uh, I will change the tactic. I didn't create it a lot, so... Vasquez will come in. Come on. Come on, Cross. Cross was very poor. Again, poor game. I lost the match. I lost the match. And I also uh, draw the last game in the league. 
And this shitty Barcelona is chasing me. I mean, I was missing performance of my striker. Come on now. At least draw. Uh, demanding more. Or maybe I didn't close on our end. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. 2-0. Two, two I was, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Crazy game. Crazy fucking game. You see Cuenca 6-0. Central defender Ahmed Hodzic. I mean, I need to buy in future one world-class central defender if I want to have. Cuenca can be good uh, bench option because he's Spanish. That's it. On end, at least I didn't lose the match. So that's that's the only positive thing. So guys, this will be end of this episode. I mean, the results are still okay. At least we defeated Borussia with 1-0. Will that be enough in a away game? We will see. Let's hope I can lose maybe 2-1 or 3-2 and just pass with, uh, with away goals. So, good luck. See you. Bye.